Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. So according to the stat counter, approximately 65% of the global user are using the Google Chrome browser. Around 19% Safari, Edge 5.26%, Firefox 2.74, and you will be shocked that only 0.71% people are using the DuckDuckGo browser. But today I can promise you that once you know these six amazing feature of this browser, you will surely change your mind and start using it or at least as an alternate browser. So without any further delay, let's quickly get it started. And before proceeding, let me tell you that DuckDuckGo browser is mostly known for the privacy and the feature I'm going to share aren't available on the popular browser like Google Chrome. And installing this browser is very easy. You can just type DuckDuckGo in the search. Click on the first website, DuckDuckGo Privacy Simplified. It says switch to DuckDuckGo, it's private and free. Make DuckDuckGo your default search engine. Get a free browser for even more privacy. You can click on download browser, go with the basic installation. And once it will be installed, you will be getting this kind of interface. Now it looks very neat and clean. And the best part is that they have their own search engine where they promise the privacy will be simplified and the other menu and the navigation are very similar like you can access the bookmark the setting page and in the setting you can manage the privacy privacy pro option general sync and backup appearance password and form duck player so there are many other things that you can enjoy here and that what we will be discussing in this video so let's start with the first feature that I like the most on DuckDuckGo that is it comes with the built-in tracker blocking and this is the most demanding feature every user need so that no website can track your activities on the website. Now here DuckDuckGo block all the tracking attempt from the different website and if you open a new tab here it will give you all the detailed information that how many tracking attempts has been blocked in the past 7 days along with the website and all the other information that will be displayed here only. And another benefit of the tracker blocking is that whenever uh, you visit any kind of other website, let me bring it up, you won't be getting any kind of annoying advertisement and pop up on the screen. So you can see here, I open this website here and I'm not getting any kind of advertisement and it looks very neat and clean. Okay, very minimal ad can be displayed without uh, creating any problem while reading or navigating the website. Not only this, let me bring up some other website here. This is a blog website and you can see here that it's working in the background. And if I scroll down, I will not find any kind of annoying advertisement or any kind of pop-up popping up on the screen while reading any kind of blog or any kind of article. All right. Now, after that, again, if you open a new tab, it will show you that this blog, this kind of tracking attempt on this website that I recently opened. So this way you can browse any kind of website without having any kind of annoying advertisement and without any fear of getting tracked because everything is being blocked here. All right. And now let's move with the next feature here. That is the email protection. And with this feature, all the email will be sent to you using the DuckDuckGo forwarding which will stop the tracker to track your email activity and even your location. So let's see how to use it. When you click on the three dot at the right hand top, here only you will be getting an option of email protection. Click on enable email protection and it will bring up this kind of page here. Email privacy simplified block email tracker and hide your address without switching to your email provider. So click on get started. Then you can read here, welcome to email protection. Soon you will choose a personal at the rate duck.com email address. Anything sent to that address will be forwarded to your regular inbox with email tracker removed. Click next again. Again, if you want to read more about it, then you can read it and click on next. Now it will ask you choose your duck address. So basically what we are doing guys here. We are creating a new duck email for absolutely free and connecting it with our regular email address. So what will happen from the next time whenever you share your email or you send any kind of email, you don't have to share your original or your real email. And after that, nobody would be able to track your location or track your email activity. 
So type your desired email here. Like I will type frozen queue. Then I have to type my real email that says where should we forward your email. So type the email address that basically you use. So I will type frozen queue 9 at gmail.com that I basically use and click on continue. Make sure both address are correct. Once created, your duck address cannot be changed. Frozen queue at duck.com, frozen queue 9 at gmail.com. This is correct. Check your inbox to complete the sign up. Now you will have to bring up your original email and verify it. All right, so I got the email here and it says that the go email protection is almost ready for you to complete sign up. Please confirm the following address. So I need to click on this link here and bingo frozen queue at duck.com is your anything sent to your new email address will be forwarded to frozen queue 9 at gmail.com with the tracker removed. Click on next. Your browser just got better too. The DuckDuckGo browser extension will now automatically detect email field and make it easy to populate form with the frozen queue at duck.com or a randomly generated private duck address. So this will give you the automatic protection here. So click on done. Now what you have to do guys, you will have to save this email somewhere. And whenever somebody asks your email or you have to mention your email while signing up to any kind of account or anywhere, now you don't have to share your real email. Instead, you have to share your this email. OK, so what will happen once the people will be sending any email to this email address, it will be automatically forwarded to your real address. Let me show you how exactly this will work. I'm taking another email here, so I will click on compose and type the same email that was frozen you at duck.com and subject. I can keep it to test and the field also to test. And then I can click on send. Now attention here guys that I'm sending this email to this email address not to the frozen q9 at gmail.com but still this will be redirected to my gmail account and nobody would be able to track my information. Okay so if I click on send now and if I go back to my this email that is frozen q and if I refresh it probably very soon I will be getting the email. All right, so here we go. Now you can see that I received the email here from the Sky Shield. And if I bring it up, so what you have to observe here that it has been set to to frozen queue at duck.com, not to my email. So even I don't have to share or explore my real email address with anyone. And as the sender know that they are sending to this email address, they will have no idea that it's been forwarded to my real email address. So this way you can protect your email from getting tracked or without sharing the location. And this is an absolutely amazing feature that you are getting for absolutely free with the DuckDuckGo browser. OK, now let's move with the next feature, guys. That is the bank and banks are the most practical feature offered by the DuckDuckGo. They are shortcut to the site search of the specific website or any kind of services. So what you need to do in the DuckDuckGo browser, you just have to type here the exclamation mark in the DuckDuckGo browser and it will recommend you all kind of website which you can directly visit and whichever website is not being listed. You can type the name and you will find that the YouTube will be appeared here. Just click on it and hit the enter key and it will directly take you to the website instead of browsing different kind of suggestions. So that is the really amazing feature. Let me show you again. Let's say if I want to open facebook.com, so I will type Facebook or just face and it will automatically detect it. And once I hit the enter key, now I don't have to go through with the long navigation and it will directly take me to the Facebook page. This can be also very helpful in the condition where you are not able to recall your mind for any particular website. You can just type the name or the initial one or two character or one two alphabet. And after that, it will be suggesting you all kind of website related to that keyword. And another best thing that you can do with the bank that I like the most is like just type your query. Like I will type best goggles. Give a space. Now I will type the exclamation mark. And I can instruct here that where exactly I want to search this keyword. Let's say I want that this best Google option should be uh, searched in the YouTube. So I can type here YouTube. And then if I hit the enter key, it will list all the suggestions on the YouTube here. Right now, let me take another example here. So I will type best keyboard. And then I will type the exclamation mark and type here Amazon. And hit the enter key. 
now it will take me directly to the amazon and list me all kind of a uh, keyboard that was my keyword so it's a really fantastic uh, way of browsing the on the internet guys because you will have to type your keyword and where exactly you want to search that's it and it will automatically take you to that particular website with all the related result of the keyword as you can see here it took us to the amazon website and displaying all kind of keyboard that we made a search right similarly if i again go back and type here best perfumes exclamation mark again i type amazon and hit the enter key bingo so again it took me to amazon and listing me all kind of perfumes the best perfume that was basically my keyword and it's really easy to do any kind of searching on the internet and now let's move with the fourth amazing feature that is the cheat sheets and cheat sheets are a somewhat similar known feature of the DuckDuckGo, but it can be quite helpful in enhancing your productivity it can help you to find the keyword shortcut for your favorite application and learn the basic of popular programming languages all you have to do is to type the cheat sheet next to a query for an application language or service and DuckDuckGo will list common shortcuts or the basic of your search term for example if I type here Chrome space and type cheat sheet and hit the enter key and the DuckDuckGo will display all kind of popular shortcut for this Google Chrome browser and similarly instead of Chrome if I type here any programming like Python give a space cheat sheet so it will list me all kind of related or the required or the basic command or the formula here that are really important for that particular language even it will give me some best suggestion that i can click on and it will list me all the available and required information related to that particular keyword now this feature guys you will better understand once you type your own desired keyword in the search here and look for the cheat sheet so go ahead and just do some kind of research here and you will find that how fruitful it can be for you and now let's move with our fifth feature that is the duck player now this amazing feature you can play any videos on the youtube using the duck player so you might be thinking how this is beneficial okay wait now let me show you if i click on the three dot here and go to settings and in the setting here from the left hand menu option you will have to click on duck player now it will ask me duck player always open youtube videos in the duck player show option to use duck player over youtube preview on hover up never use duck player so let's see if i use always open youtube videos in the duck player now what will happen if i open a new tab here and type youtube and if i open up my so old video here so you can see the video is now coming up in the duck duck player and the major benefit is you won't see any kind of video recommendation on the right hand side or any kind of advertisement everything will be blocked here as you can see that I'm not getting any recommendation and I can simply focus on the video that I'm playing on the YouTube without getting any kind of advertisement and that is basically the best and the major benefit of this video player and anytime if I want to open this on the YouTube I can click on watch on YouTube as well now the only drawback that I found here in the duck player that you will not be able to see the timestamp while uh, watching any video through the duck player so that's okay if you want to uh, go accordingly to the timestamp then you can simply click on watch on YouTube and now you can have a look on the timestamp and you can enjoy it and now let's move with the last and not the least that is one of the best feature of the DuckDuckGo where you can remove everything with the fire button yes now you can maintain your privacy and fix the problem by just making one click using the duck fire button so no need to go through the long navigation to clear your history or the caches simply click on the fire button that you can find on the right and top just click on it and it says leave no trace click on got it click on clear and boom and you will find now that everything has been cleared now there are no record that what exactly you browsed what exactly you did and this can be really useful for you when you feel that your family member or your friend they can uh, notice that what exactly you did just before a minute then simply click on this fire button and everything will be wiped out 
So these were the best six features of the DuckDuckGo browser guys and you are getting all this feature for absolutely free. Now let me know in the comment section guys that which feature you like the most and you will be switching to this browser or not or you will be using as an alternate browser. Let me know your feedback in the comment section and also make sure that you hit the like subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.